Hello. Ah, ya. Ya volvimos otra vez. Hello, Sorry, teacher. people. Lo siento, pero uh, tuvimos un corte de energía y creo que fue, no sé, quizás a nivel de departamento acá. O oh, I don't know why, but, pero ya. Yeah. Lo importante es que ya regreso. That's the good thing that we're back. So, we're going uh, continue where we stayed. Vamos a continuar donde nos habíamos quedado. Uh, the last person I was mentioning, it was Jocelyn. And then uh, it was uh, Juan Ricardo. Is it not connected yet? Um, okay, he's not yet here. All right, we move. It is Cecilia. <clears throat> Neither it is. Okay, let's move. Ana Silvia. Present teacher. Okay, you're there, good. And then we got Francisco Ernesto. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, mister. And we got the last one, Abigail Elizabeth. <clears throat> Present teacher. Ah, okay, good. I are there. Okay, perfect, people. So we're going to start, you know, where we stayed yesterday. Uh, but before doing that, let's remember, uh, we're going to create a short feedback from what we were doing yesterday, you know, like the most important thing that we were doing, right, and everything what we were practicing. Do you guys remember what was the topic that we were discussing yesterday? <clears throat> what was the main topic that we were discussing? ¿Cuál fue el tema central que estuvimos discutiendo la clase pasada? Vamos a comenzar con ello antes de pasar a lo del manual, porque si recuerdan, uh, teníamos algo pendiente, right? In the manual. Any volunteer? Uh -huh. ING. Ajá, uh ING. -huh. Ajá, uh -huh. form after preposition. 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 Ah, ok. El uso del gerundio. Ah. Eh, también en negativo. Ah, ok, very good. So that was pretty much what we were practicing yesterday, right? right? Ok, ING forms after. Give me one second. Le vamos a cambiar el nombre a Cristina porque me confunde verla con el Galaxy A02. There you go. <laughs> Ahora sí, Cristina, ya tiene su nombre, ¿ok? Teacher, no sé por qué aparece así, fíjate. All right, but no problem. I changed it already, ¿ok? Ya lo cambié. Sí, disculpe porque, no, disculpe porque no sabía yo que así estaba apareciendo. Ah, okay. okay, no problem. Okay, Gracias. all right. If you remember yesterday, we were working in some exercises. Okay, we were practicing a short conversation also, but we didn't finish, right? We didn't finish the conversation, neither uh, some activities that we were discussing, right? Okay, so that's basically what we're going to start like right now, you know, and then we're going to move out with the topic that we will be discussing, you know, like tonight. So for that, I am going to open up the manual in page 13. That was the page that we were working yesterday. And I'm going to project it in here. If you remember, this was the conversation that you guys were practicing, okay? This was the conversation that you were practicing, but we didn't, we didn't uh, practice it in here, okay, for everybody. And that's what we are about to do right now. We, we're gonna, uh, you know, like practice the share conversation and then we're gonna check what you got in there, okay, related to the exercises that we were discussing yesterday, okay? And so for that, I'm gonna start, you know, like, like with random, random, people, random prayers, 
okay? Not exactly the same people we were working uh, yesterday because, I mean, there are a lot of people that are missing. Not all of you are in here. So we're gonna practice that thing that way, okay? So uh, for that thing, I got Rook at the first one and Carla Mendoza. Could you girls help me out practicing the conversation, please? Okay. Like this is the pronunciation, you know. Okay. Can empieza? All right. Um, if you want, you can start, Carla. And then. Roll. Okay. Uh, hi, Roxana. Welcome to Red. My name is Jessica. I'm the industrial safety engineer. Thanks, Jessica. Nice to meet you. My department is responsible for keeping the safety of the plant. I see. I will be part of the maintenance department uh, where I be responsible to you. Great. Our departments work together, but the maintenance chief is a charge of directing your department, you'll be responsible to him. Thank you, Jessica. May I call you if I need help? Sure. Okay, very good. Thank you, Ruth, and thank you, Carla. All right, now, Fabrizio. Uh, I, thought it, I thought you were sleeping, Fabrizio. Se le quedó, ay, ven, se le había quedado frisada la pantalla y yo pensé que estaba durmiendo así como que con los ojos cerrados. Ah, no, para eso tengo una técnica, ¿sabes? Me, me pongo así, es que me dé la luz y... Ah, bueno, ya la vamos a tomar en cuenta entonces. Ah. Ok, all right, good. I would like you to help me out with María Elena. Practice in the short conversation. Okay. María Elena. Okay. Hi, uh, Fabricio. Welcome to Rex. My name is Jessica. I am the industrial safety engineer. Thanks, Jessica. Nice to meet you. My department is responsible for keeping the safety of the plant. What? I see, I be part of the maintenance department. Would be responsible to you? Hey, porque no dejó participar el, el, el perrito. He wants to practice English. Que son las dos, las dos ah. las que se ponen en ariscas. <laughs> María Elena. Great. Our department works together. But the main, maintenance chief is in charge of directing your department. You'll be responsible to him. Thank you, Jessica. May I call you if I need help? Sure. All right, sure. There you go. Thank you, Fabricio and Maria Elena. Now, Monica and Sylvia. Okay, okay let's go. Hi, Welcome to Rex. My name is Jessica. I'm the industrial safety engineer. Thanks, Jessica. Nice to meet you. My department is responsible for keeping the safety of the plant. I see. I be part of the maintenance department will be responsible to you. Great. All departments go, go together, but the maintenance chief is in charge of directing your department. You will be responsible, responsible to him. Thank you, Jessica. May I call you if I need help? 
Sure. sure. All right. There you go. Thank you. Monica and Sylvia. Now, Maravin and Santos Cristina. Okay. Hi, Roxana. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hi, Roxana. Welcome to Rex. My name is Jessica. I am the industrial safety engineer. Thanks, Jessica. Nice to meet you. My department is responsible for keeping it safety of the plant. I see. I be part of the maintenance department. Will I be responsible to you? To you? Great. Our department work together, but the maintenance shift in the share of the right in your department. You'll be responsible to him. Thank you, Jessica. May, may I call you? I can, I need help. I need sure. All right, sure. There you go. Thank you, Marvin and Santos. Uh, now, Miss Elizabeth and Francisco. Hi, teacher. Hi. We're going to start. Hey. You can start. Okay, let's go. Hi, Roxana. Welcome to Rex. My name is Jessica. I'm the industrial safety engineer. Se nos quedó frisado, Francisco. Creería que sí. Yes. Imagínense si pase alguien ahí caminando ahí por la parte de atrás. <ríe> no, creo que sí sale. Sí. Ah, we got problems with Francisco. Yeah. Oh my God. Se habrá desconectado. No lo sé, me parece que cancelemos la participación. Sí, la de él sí, la suya no. No, no sé que éramos un equipo. Judith, help me out with Elizabeth, please. Sorry, Elizabeth. Okay. No me Thanks. parece justo. Sorry. Ok. Hi, Roxana. Welcome to Rex. My name is Jessica. I'm the industrial safety engineer. Thanks, Jessica. Nice to meet you. My department is responsible for keeping the safety in of the plant. I see. Uh, you'll be part of the maintenance department. Will I be responsible to you? Great, our department work together, but the maintenance chief in, in, is in charge of directing your department. You'll be responsible to him. Thank you, Jessica. May I call you if need help? Sure. Ah, okay, sure. <laughs> Thank you, Judith, and thank you, Elizabeth. Ah, uh, you see, you participated already. Ah, uh, let's see. Yeah, man, Francisco. I think Francisco continued with the problems, right, Francisco? You got internet problems, right? Yes, he got stuck again. Ah, uh, yeah. Sí, veo que tiene bastante inconsistencias con el internet. Yeah, I mean, I know. I mean, it's not really good. All right. We're going to continue. Probably. Ah, va, va. Okay. <laughs> good. Uh, let's see. Norma, are you there? <laughs> Hi. Ah, you're there. Good. Carla, uh, Ivania, are you there? Yeah, Comienzo yo. Ah, okay. Cool. <clears throat> All right, Norma. Okay. You can, you can okay. start. 
Okay. Hi, Roxana. Welcome to Red. My name is Jessica. I am the industrial safet engineer. Then Jessica, nice to meet you. My department is the res responsible for give me the mm -hmm. safet, uh -huh, the safety in the plan. I see it. Are there part of the man maintenance? Maintenance. Department. Uh -huh. department will I be responsible to you? Great. Our department work together about the maintaining maintenance chairs in the chairs or directing your department. You'll be responsible to him. To him. Okay. Thank you, Jessica. May I care? I call you. Is I need help? Sure. Okay, sure. All right. Thank you, Norma and Carla. Now, when I see the last one, Edson, are you there, Edson? Edson? Okay, I think it's uh, a lot uh, has some troubles and he doesn't answer. Uh, but let's see, William, are you there? William? Hi. Ah, you're there. Okay, good. Roberto, did you participate already? All right. Did you? Okay, because Edson uh, doesn't answer, and I got Jocelyn and the other ones, but they uh, are busy right now. So could you help me out with William, Roberto? Uh, by the way, Roberto, I think your audio is, is disabled because uh, we don't listen to you. Nope. Don't you have a microphone or something like that? Un auricular incluido, something? No? Hmm, that's weird. All right, uh, for future participations, si creo que el problema, si persiste el problema, desconectes y vuelva a conectarse. A veces es, es uh, fallo de Zoom. Y suele pasar bien seguido eso. Okay, good. Uh, María Elena, help me out with William, please. Hi, William. Welcome to Reds. My name is Jessica. I'm the industrial safety engineer. Hey, Jessica, nice to meet you. My department is responsible for keeping the safety of the plant. I see, I be a part of the maintenance department. Will I be responsible to you? Great, our department work together. But the maintenance chief is the chairs of directing your department. You'll be responsible to him. Thank you, Jessica. May I call I call you if I need a help? Sure. Okay, there you go. Thank you, uh, Maria and William. Okay, that was part of the conversation that you were practicing yesterday, okay? Now, we're gonna go down and we're gonna try just to check this thing so that we got in here in order to start with the, you know, like the second part. Okay, this is, this is the, the, the first part of the questions, okay? This was all related to the conversation, if you remember. Okay, the first one says, 
who is responsible for keeping the safety of the personnel in the plant? What do you have, people? In general, what do you have? Jessica. Okay. Very good. Ahora sí me escucho. Yeah, ahora sí. Ahora sí. Parte claro. You see, sometimes it's a problem from Zoom. A veces son problemitas de Zoom los que suelen suceder así. Por lo general se da cuando a veces tenemos desactualizada la, la aplicación. Ah, ok. Sí, a veces tiende a pasar. Ya, en el módulo anterior, creo que no sé si fue en la primera o segunda clase, que no me dejó ni compartir pantalla porque no la había actualizado. Ya, yeah, en so that case. Ok, good. So that's Jessica. Number two, uh, Ruth, help me out reading number two. Who is the task for directing the maintenance personnel? Okay, who is in charge of directing the maintenance personnel? Thank you. Any idea, people? What do you have there? ¿Qué tenían ahí? Look, you can even you, you can even check this this chart here. De acá también lo pueden sacar. Look. Mm -hmm. Who is in charge of directing the maintenance personnel? Maintenance chief. Maintenance chief, exactly. This is the one, maintenance chief. Esa era la respuesta que ustedes iban a colocar ahí en esta parte. Okay, who's next? Uh, let's see who's going to be next. Marilyn, help me out reading number three, Marilyn. Okay. Who is Roxana responsible to? Ah, okay. Vamos a ver si me entendieron esa pregunta. Who is Roxana responsible to? Ah, who is Roxana? According to the conversation. Who is Roxana responsible to? Department maintenance. Uh, to whom? Department and maintenance. Maintenance department. Department and maintenance. Mm -hmm. Department. Um, maintenance. Uh -huh, uh -huh. You got your answer. The Keep floor manager. Nice. Floor manager. The Indian. Engineer. Engineer. Hmm. Maintenance chief. Maintenance yes. chief. Okay. Okay. Vaya, en este caso, miren, la pregunta básicamente es quién está a cargo de Roxana. No Roxana estar a cargo de. All right. So en este caso, sus superiores, the maintenance chief. All right. So, viene siendo la misma respuesta que la anterior. Okay, that's the same answer. That's the one. All right, now, the last one. Number four, it says, look at the organizational chart above. All right, this one, el que tenemos acá. Who are the safety engineer and the maintenance chief responsible to? Jessica. Uh, no. Tenemos que floor manager. El floor acá. manager porque está a cargo de las dos. Managers. Ah, exactly. In this case, it's the floor manager. Very good. Eso era lo que teníamos que poner en esa parte. Ok. Good. Dicho esto, let's go down. Ok. Let's go down. Y aquí ya teníamos uno más grandecito, right? Que teníamos al principio, like in the top, you know, the general manager. We got auditor, sales department. Computer department, financial department, floor manager, right? The floor manager, if you see, it gets more responsibilities because a floor manager basically is in charge of the maintenance shift, maintenance personnel, safety engineer, supervisor, machine operators, assemblers, and truck drivers, right? But let's see what you got in here. Vamos a ver cómo lo tenemos acá. Okay, you got this one. Uh, Silvia, read the question number one. Voy a leerme la pregunta uno, a ver cómo le quedó. 
Who, who is responsible for supervising? O sea, se le agrega el ING, ¿verdad? Ok, Mechanic. supervising. Mechanic operation. Uh, machine operators. Machine operators. Ok. Who is responsible for supervising the machine operators in this case, people? ¿Qué tienen ahí? The supervisor. The supervisor. Exactly. All right. In this case, is the supervisor. Ok. Entonces acá, eso me van a colocar acá, right? En esta parte. The supervisor. Good. Now, the next one. Number two. Mónica. Help me out, Mónica. Is the charge of checking the quality of the Products. Ah, okay, good. Who is in charge of checking the quality of the products? What do you have, people? What do you have? The, the auditor. The auditor? The auditor. The quality control inspector. Ah, exactly, exactly. Recuerden que aquí dice que en está a cargo de revisar la calidad de los productos. Y en este caso sería Quality you Control see. Inspector. All right? That's what it is. Okay. That's what it is. Nice. Next one. Let me see if you can help me out with this. Uh, 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 um. Carla Ivania, help me out reading. Number three. Okay. Uh, who is responsible uh -huh. for buying the problems of the ma machines? Machines. Okay, there you go. From this chart, who is responsible for repairing the problems of the machines? The maintenance personnel. Maintenance personnel? Machine opera operator. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, no. <laughs> ¿Qué tienen los demás? Vamos a ver si comparten la, la opinión con Cristina. Which one do you think it is, people? Because it says, who is responsible for repairing the problems of the machines? Maintaining ship. Maintaining ship. Mm -hmm. Why the maintaining ship? Personal. Maintaining ship. Why the maintaining ship? Personal. Or why the maintenance mm -hmm. personal? Yes. Maintenance personal? Maintenance personal. Actually, yeah, I mean, not the chief, the personal. That's the one, right? The personal is in charge of that then, right? Darle mantenimiento a todo lo, lo relacionado a máquinas and all that thing. Okay, good. Let's go into number four and the other ones that are missing. Uh, Elizabeth, help me out reading number four. Elizabeth? Sí, aquí estoy. Ah, yo creí que estaba dormida. No, ya dormí. Ah, ah, ok. Son mentiras, son mentiras. Ok, good. No, yo si me duermo antes, no me despiertan para la clase. Okay. Pues a mí sí, en ocasiones. Ok, ok. Ok. Luis, accountable for. Selling the product. Okay, who is accountable for selling the products? Or oh, in other words, who is responsible for selling the products? According to this, people. The sales department. The sales department. Okay, there you go. All right, the sales department, Departamento de Ventas, right? Okay, good. Let's go into the next one. 
Uh, let me see. Someone has not really participated that much. Francisco, can you listen to me? Have you solved your, your issues with the internet? Um, Read number five. Number five? Yeah. Who is, the, who is carrying off assisting uh -huh. the ensemble? Ah, okay. Who is in charge of assisting the assemblers? Yo estoy encargado de asistir a los, los ensambladores, according to this thing. Maintenance personal? Maintenance personal? Mm, no, because Un look assembler. at this. We got, the, we got the assemblers in here. Machine operator. Machine Truck operator? Driven. Truck driven. Truck driven. Truck drivers? Conductor de, de camiones, uh -huh. but this is assisting, que... assisting. Assisten a los super, a supervisor. En este caso sería the supervisor. Recuerden que cuando hay algo que no se puede solucionar, ¿quién es el que lo soluciona? El de más arriba, right? That's the one, a supervisor. All right. Uh, machine right. operators, machine operators simplemente son los que operan la máquina, right? And that's it. That's it. Okay, good. So you got that one, right? Supervisor. All right. Now, the last one. I'm going to go into the last one. Carla Mendoza, help me already in the last one, please. Uh, okay. Who is accountable for managing the whole operation okay who is accountable for managing the whole operation mm. general manager auditor no. quien está a cargo de o sea de, de, de toda la operación todo general manager that's the general manager exactly right that's the one in the top all right, like the main boss. Okay, very good. So those ones were, you know, like the, the exercises that we were uh, working on in last class. And we didn't finish. Is that a dog? Y si silencia todos los micrófonos, teacher. Give me one second. Sorry, oh, sorry. Me he olvidado. Ah, okay. Vamos a escuchar cantar a Francisco de repente. Bien, bueno. Bueno, tal vez no salen viendo. Sorry, sorry, claro. Vine de teacher. No problem, Francisco. All right. Hello, Juan. Good evening. Okay, listen. Now that we have, you know, like, like checked all of those things, Let's go into the topic that we're going to be discussing tonight. I'm going to show it up uh, a short presentation just for you to get to know what is, uh, you know, like the topic that we're going to be discussing and how we will be working on with this topic. Okay. This is the topic uh, for the rest of the class. Give me one second. So today is September the 23rd from 2022 and tonight's topic is going to be the passive voice. ¿Qué página es, teacher? Hello. Uh, ahorita eh, lo vamos a hacer en la presentación y luego nos vamos a pasar al manual, Juan. Ok. Va. Right now, Va, just, si cree que es necesario, copie, copie eh, la información que cree que es necesaria acá de la presentación que voy a dar, right? Remember that I like just to put a presentation just to explain a little bit the grammar and then we go into the practice, okay? Have you ever heard about passive voice in the past? ¿Alguna vez han escuchado este tema? Passive voice o la voz passive pasiva? Boy. Passive voice. Yeah, o voz pasiva. Sí. Uh, ¿Ya la había escuchado antes? Sí, ya la había escuchado antes. Ah, ¿alguna idea de qué se trata? 
de... Espérenme, por aquí lo tengo. You got something? Okay. In the meantime, we, if you got something, uh, I'm gonna, you know, like move on into the class agenda, like the most relevant that we're gonna have for the rest of the class. Look at that. We got the review from the previous class. Algo que acabamos de hacer, all right? Uh, then we're gonna have the introduction to the passive voice. After that, I want you guys to provide me one examples. You know, like some examples using that structure. Then we're gonna have a short conversation practice. And then we're gonna end up with some exercises in the manual as always. Okay, that's pretty much what we got. Now let's go into it. The passive voice. Juan, do you find something? La utilizamos como para mostrar algún cierto interés de alguna cosa, persona, objeto, etc. Exactly. Más o menos por ahí viene. Por ahí viene la, la definición de que es una passive voice. Ok. okay. Vamos a comenzar entonces con una pequeña definición and then we're gonna, you know, like uh, be introducing step by step the uses of this uh, structure, All right? Quiero que me presten mucha atención porque este es un tema un tantito confuso para algunas personas. Y ya van a ver por qué. Look, look at this. We got the short definition about this. Y tenemos una pequeña definición de que es una passive voice. All right. So let me see. Jesus Christ, I got that thing. Patricia, are you there? Hi. All right, Patty. Uh, can you help me out reading? The definition about passive voice, please. Okay. Use the passive voice to um, emphasize. Emphasize that the action are more important than the doors, subjects. Doors, doors or subjects. Okay, good. Algo que quiero que tengan bien claro es, listen. Por lo general, cuando nosotros hablamos, como normalmente hablamos en una estructura, subject, verb plus complement, o subject, verb, object, a eso se le conoce como una active voice. Active voice, o voz activa, en la cual el sujeto tiene más relevancia. ¿Ok? ¿Quién hace la acción? Por ejemplo, if I say... Carla, what, cooks the dinner, for example, right? ¿A quién estamos poniéndole más atención? ¿O a quién nos estamos refiriendo? Simple, we are referring to Carla, right? Entonces, ¿estamos enfatizando más o estamos prestando más atención? A Carla, all right? ¿Quién es la que hace la acción? A eso se le conoce como active voice o voz activa, okay? Now, What is a passive voice on the other hand? En la, en la passive voice, aquí ya es todo lo contrario. Porque se enfatiza más la acción que quien hace la acción. All right? This is a, a little bit different. Y algo que quiero que ya vayamos eh, grabándonos. En passive voice, al menos esta estructura que vamos a ver ahorita, vamos a usar siempre el verbo to be. Am, um, is, or are. Ya lo vamos a ver en algunas, en algunas partes. Check this out. Examples. And we got one example in here. Look at this. Judith, help me on reading this one, please. El verbo va en consonante, va, teacher. Hello? En consonante. 
Uh, yeah. En este caso, el verbo, yo les voy a explicar la estructura que tiene que llevar. Uh -huh. This is one specific structure. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Judy, help me a reading, please. Okay, red is recognized. Recognized. Uh, recognized as a prestigious prestigious company. Ah, okay, there you go. Look at this. Rex is recognized as a prestigious company. So in this case, in this case, I want you to pay attention to this. Look, in this case, I got in here the bird to be. In here, I got the bird to be. And in here, I got the, the main verb. Tengo el verbo to be. Y luego después del verbo to be, tengo el verbo central. Okay. O el verbo principal. Pero este verbo no está en pasado. Simple. Está en una estructura que se llama pasado participio. Ok. Y se preguntarán ustedes. ¿Qué es what is past participio? ¿Qué es el pasado participio? All right. Simple. All right. The past participle of a verb es cuando generalmente agregamos ado, edo, ido al verbo. Okay? If you want to translate that into Spanish, it will be like ado, edo, ido. Those three. For example, the verb eat. If you got that one, look at this. If you got that one. Generally, we got three forms of the verb, as I said. Look. Vamos a salir un, salirnos un poquito del contexto para que me entiendan. Miren, en una lista normal de verbos ustedes van a ver base form, simple past, and then past participle. All right? For example, I got the verb eat. Everybody knows what is eat. Todos sabemos que es eat. Okay? Like comer. You know? In simple past, what is the simple past of it? Hit, eat. The simple past of it is eight. Eight. Right? ¿Y qué significa eight? Comí. Comiendo. Comiendo. Eh, no, that's progressive. Eso sería progresivo. Ah, ah, yes, este. Comí. All right? Comí. An action in the past. All right. In past participle, you got eaten. Is it? Eaten. Entonces acá, Eita. aplicando las, las, las tres terminaciones, ado, edo, ido, es comido. Comido. You see? This is the, the form of the verb. Entonces, esta es la forma del verbo que nosotros optamos y colocamos en ese tipo de oraciones. ¿Ok? That's the form of the verb that we got in there. Entonces, es la forma que vamos a necesitar para crear este tipo de oraciones. Okay? We will see a couple of verbs with that form. Vamos a ver algunos verbos con esas formas también, okay? And some extra examples. All right, I'm going to put this one in here. Voy a poner esto por acá. And we will continue. Look at that. The next one. Maria, help me reading this one. Yes. Rex is great as one of the 10 most prestigious Press, company. companies. Okay. Look at that. Rex is rated as one of the most, uh, I mean, of one of the 10 most prestigious companies. All right. Rex is reconocido. Rex is. Yes, right. Brother. All right. Reconocido in that case, it will be. All right. Vamos a ver un poco sobre la estructura, cómo funciona a comparación de una voz activa. All right. For you to have an idea about how this one works. Pero si vemos acá, está bien explícito la forma del verbo to be. En este caso es is, porque ambos subjects están en singular. Básicamente es el mismo subject, ¿ok? So, we're going to see that thing. No sé si habían terminado de escribir. 
Are you copying that? Ya la guardé. Okay, perfect one. Yeah, I mean, I see that there are some, some people still writing. Cuando terminen me lo hacen saber, so we can move on, okay? Most of you work tomorrow, people. La mayoría trabaja mañana. No. Uh, veo unas caras así como. Ven unas caras como diciéndome así como que. Mm, yes. Y otra así como que. Nah. Yes, man. Estamos los, 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 los que me hicieron. Los que me hicieron esa cara así como que. Yes. Yo me incluyo también. Mañana es el día que más trabajo. Man. Doble. So sad. Así que yo no me puedo alegrar porque es viernes, porque el sábado me va peor. <ríe> oh my God. Ok. Good. So, let's move on to the next slide. Give me one second. I'm going to erase this thing. And let's move. Look, passive voice structure. We got something in here. Look, este tipo de estructura es lo que ustedes comúnmente conocen. An active voice. No voz activa. For example, tenemos subject, verb, object. Ok. Forget. Cats eat Mice. ¿Qué quiero decir ahí? Cat eats mice. Gatos comen ratones. El gato. Exactly. Perdón, perdón. Y María, así como que. Fabricio, stop. All right, ya, yeah, I mean, Cats eats mice. Los gatos comen ratones. All right. So, that's a, an active voice. Es lo que comúnmente nosotros. Eh, digamos, esa es la estructura que comúnmente expresamos, ¿ok? La que usamos. That's the most common one. Now, I want you to pay attention to the passive voice. Check this out. Ahora, vean la estructura de una voz pasiva. This is completely different. You got subject, verb to be, plus the past participle of the verb. You see? Tenemos el verbo to be más la forma pasada participia del verbo principal. All right? And then you got an object. Ok. Ahora, si arriba yo digo cats eat mice, acá digo mice are eaten by cats. Los ratones son comidos por los gatos. Por los gatos. You see? It's saying the same thing, but backwards. Ahora, ¿cuál acción? O cuál es el subject que tiene más relevancia. Si ven, ya no es el gato como en la active voice, sino los ratones, right? So we change completely the sentence. Ok, entonces aquí básicamente lo que hemos hecho es cambiar, right? Change completely the statement and putting more emphasis. Ok, no who makes the action. It's basically who receives the action. That's the one that we pay attention the most in here. Okay. So this is the structure how we can identify a passive voice. All right. Good. For example, vamos a crear otro ejemplo porque veo que hay unas caras así como que no entiendo. All right. And I want you to be clear about this. Okay. Pero primero copy and message because it's really important for, you know, like, like the examples that we're going to be doing. Let's copy that, people. And let me know when you finish. So that way I can move. Something I want you to remember is that in passive voice, we always need the verb to be. All right? In la voz pasiva, siempre vamos a necesitar el verbo to be. 
ya sea en am, is, o are. Remember, in the three forms. Y hay muchas formas de cómo conjugar la voz pasiva, pero solo la vamos a ver en simple present. O sea, con am, is, o are. Probably in the future, eh, ya se van a ver en, las, en otras formas. Let me know when you finish. Eh, teacher. Yes, el, el verbo en, en esta ocasión sí se modifica en algunas ocasiones por completo, ¿verdad? Y hay alguna forma... Eh... Que solo se acaban en ED. Ajá. Eso es cuando un verbo es regular e irregular. ¿Ok? No sé si ustedes vieron eso en el módulo 2. Bueno, al menos con el grupo que estuvo el módulo pasado, eh, mostré la diferencia entre verbos regulares e irregulares. All right. What is the difference? Por lo general, un verbo regular termina en ed o ied. All right. In simple past. Y un irregular tiende a cambiar su forma por completo. All right. Tiende a cambiar su forma por completo. Ya vamos a ver algunos verbos. Yo voy a colocar algunos verbos adicionales para que eh, tengan una idea de lo que les estoy diciendo. Okay? Just, just for you to, to get. All right. Okay, good. I guess, I guess all of you have already participated on that thing. Now, you have done this thing. Okay, look. I'm going to write down a series of examples in here. Look. In passive voice. Usando voz activa, yo puedo decir, look, active voice. The, the thief steals the bank. All right. What am I saying in this case? ¿Qué estoy diciendo en esta, en esta oración? The thief steals the bank. El ladrón roba el banco. Ok, that's what it is. El ladrón roba el banco. Ok, ahora, I come and ask you. ¿A quién estoy enfatizando acá? ¿A quién estoy prestando más atención? A ladrón. A ladrón. A ladrón. Exactly, right? ¿Quién hizo la acción? En este caso, ¿quién hace la acción? Right? The person. Now, right. if, I put, right. if I put this thing in a passive voice, quedaría más o menos así. Check this out. The bank. Ahora, look. Ahora es el escenario donde sucedió la acción, el más relevante. Check this out. The bank. Is. ¿Por qué is? Porque la palabra banco, the bank, es singular. All right? Es como que yo diga it. So that's why I got is in there. Okay? The bank is. Ahora bien, vamos a ver. ¿Cuál es el pasado participio del verbo steal? Robar. Steal so? Eh, no, no es, no es regular, es irregular. Robar. No, porque Rob no, es, es otro es verbo. Kiffen. Kiffen. Teacher. Look. look. ¿Ah? No es todo. Es el simple past. Va, miren, de ese verbo yo tengo forma base still, pasado simple, stole, robó, pasado participio, lo que necesito ahí, stolen. That's the one. Okay. All right. The bank is stolen, stolen by. Aquí por lo general solemos colocar by en la mayoría de casos. Este by me hace enfatizar, all right, a la persona. Ese es por. Okay. That means por. 
the bank is stolen by the thief. El banco es robado por el ladrón. Um, you see? So in this case, in this case, look, I am not emphasizing the person. I am emphasizing the place. Okay. The place. Aquí estoy enfatizando no a la persona, sino a la acción. ¿Y dónde sucedió la acción? Right? In this case, the bank. The bank. Exactly, right? Bank. So that is the difference between an active and passive voice. En la voz passive activa, voice. La, el sujeto es el que se enfatiza. En la voz pasiva, es la acción la que se enfatiza. All right? No quien lo hace, sino la acción. All right? Or basically who receives the action. Okay? Another thing. Otra. Check this out. Fabricio, vamos a poner una más simple. Look at this. Fabricio drives a car. Is this active or passive? Active. All right, that's an active voice, okay? Fabricio drives a car. Ahora bien, ¿cuál es el pasado participio del verbo drive? Driven. 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 Yeah. Ok, cool. Ahora, colaborenme ustedes. Eh, ¿Cómo haríamos la passive voice? A ver, ¿qué podría primero? Yeah. The car. Ok. A car. Uh -huh. A car. Is. 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 Is porque is. básicamente es singular. Hablamos de un carro. Ah, Por okay. eso ponemos is. Si pusiera is. cars, plural, entonces ya sería are. Ok. Ah, It would be are. Yes. Ok. A car is. Now is. the verb. Drive. 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 Driven. Driven. A car is Have driven. By. By. Me. <laughs> Fabricio. <laughs> by Fabricio. You see? A car is driven by Fabricio. Un carro es conducido por Fabricio. ¿Estamos enfatizando a Fabricio ahí? No, nah, right? We are not emphasizing nah, right. Fabricio. We are emphasizing right. the action. All right? Ahí lo que estamos poniendo más énfasis es en la acción. All right? That's what it is. Okay, people. Ahora bien, vamos a lo relevante. Vamos comprendiendo cómo funciona la passive voice. O hay alguien que todavía no está ni de allá ni de acá. I'm going to go one by one. In that case. Ruth, vamos bien. Are we okay? All right. Fabricio. Silvia. Are we understanding, Silvia? Sí, sí, sí. All right, solo quiero que me hagan con un pulgarcito así, ve. And I want to know if everything is okay. Roberto, everything okay? Kind of, kind of. We're okay, kind of. Okay, cool. Judith? Perfect. Carla? All right, good. La otra Carla? <laughs> la de la cámara apagada? <laughs> It's okay, teacher. Ah, okay, good, good. All right, in general. So everybody, it's saying that it's like, like, like understanding what I'm trying to say. Okay, very good. Let's move into some extra examples that I got in here. Okay, good. Voy a terminar de terminar esto. Give me one second. I'm going to erase this thing. Voy a eliminar esto. Y vamos a continuar con algunos ejemplos. Check this out. Give me one second. Okay, extra examples. All right, check this out. Roberto, help me reading this one. Folks, food is 
eating eaten with the eaten by eaten by the dog. By by, the dog. Okay. Food is eaten by the dog. La comida es. Suena raro esa oración. Comida por el perro. La comida es comida por el perro. Comida por el dog. O devorada por el perro, dice eso. All right, this is the idea, okay? But if you see the emerging in that case, we are emphasizing what the dog is eating, right? Ahí lo que estamos haciendo es enfatizando lo que el perro está comiendo, all right? Lo que, lo que come, okay? Good. Check this out. This is another one that we got in here. Marvin, let me read it. Cars are driven by employees. Driven. Driven. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Cars are driven by employees. Look at that. Ahora, como tenemos cars, and that's plural, that's why I don't have is. I have are. Okay. Cars are driven by employees. So this is the way how we got. Now, next one. Ivania. The payment is sent to employers. Employers. Okay, thank you. Yeah, I mean, the payment is sent to employers, all right? Good. What is says in there? El pago es enviado a los empleados, right? You see, es enviado. Ahí caen dentro de la categoría, right? Ado, edo, ido. There you go. Next one. Maria Elena. The company is re recognized, 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 as, recognized as the best one. Thank you, Maria Elena. Okay, good. Let's move. I mean, I got another one. I thought I had another one. All right, copy this one. Because now, hey, you're going to give me one example. Creo que tengo unos verbos ahí con las cuales ustedes me van a hacer una serie de ejemplos. With this, I'm going to know if you are getting clear with this thing. Sí. Yes, Ruth. Va a pasar la otra sesión. Yes, solo les doy los verbos y las paso. Es que ahorita estaba así como nivelando lo, lo que perdí de, de, de espacio cuando se me fue la energía. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Al menos si no pasó como el inicio de la, del otro módulo, ¿se acuerda? Que venimos una clase a comenzar, ¿qué horas? 9.25, 8.25, ¿cierto? ¿Qué hora fue la luz? Ah, no, a mí me pasó una emergencia. Eso me pasó una ah. ah, no, 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 that was at como a las 8.05 más o menos. Por ahí sí. Y, y vino luego, ¿no? Pasó como cinco, cinco, seis, siete minutos, algo así. Ruth, I mean, eh, no, no fue usted. Judith, usted fue la que mencionó, ¿cierto? Que también se había ido la energía por esa zona. Yes. Ah, pues sí. Nos quedamos a oscuras todos. Ok, do you guys finish? Ok, good. If you have already finished, I'm going to move in here. Verbs to create the examples. Look at this. Oops, got it there. Okay, copy this ones. Los pongo así para que conozcan la forma base y la forma del pasado participio que vamos a utilizar, okay? Bueno, ya hemos practicado con it, eaten, Recognize, recognized, make, made, and change, changed. All right, listen up. Quiero que me escojan un verbo de esos y que me hagan una oración usando una passive voice y una active voice, ¿ok? Así como los ejemplos que he estado poniendo, Primero háganme la active voice y luego transformenmela en passive voice. Ok. Good. 
Escojan uno de esos verbos. Va, para mientras, voy a pasar a asistencia. No sé si ya terminaron de copiarlos. No, ok, copy them. You're done. Ahora sí, terminamos. Ok, cool. Now, escojanme uno and I want two examples. One in passive voice and the other one in active voice. Ok, good. Now, I'm going to pass the attendance list uh, in the meantime. Uh, Edson Mariano. Hi, presente. Ah, ok, cool. Uh, Gabriel Esaú. Gabriel Esaú. All right, he's not there. Jocelyn Yajaira. Jocelyn. No, okay. she's not here. Judith Maribel. Judith, are you there? Present. Ah, okay, good. I didn't listen to you before. Carla Ivania. Present teacher. Ah, okay, good. Carla Lorena. Present teacher. Okay, perfect. Catherine Guadalupe. Mm. All right, Jesus, Alicena está como oyente. María Elena. Present. Okay, cool. Marilyn Alejandra. Present. Okay, nice. Mario Ernesto. Okay, he's not here. Marvin Alexander. Present. Okay, perfect. Mónica Maricela. Present. Okay, the boss made the meeting. The meeting is Nelson made by, by the boss. Fabricio. Hi. Present. Ah, okay. Give me one second. Norma Beatriz. Present. Ok, good. Patricia Guadalupe. Present. Ok, good. Roberto Emilio. Present teacher. Ok, good. Uh, Ruth Guadalupe. Present teacher. All right. Santos Cristina. Present teacher. Ok, good. William Alexander. Hi. Ok, good. Jocelyn Stephanie. Hi. I am in choose the one that is there, right? 
Okay, good. Juan Ricardo. Present. Teacher. Okay, good. It is Cecilia. All right, she's not here. Um, Ana Silvia. Present, teacher. Okay, good. Uh, Francisco Ernesto. Present, teacher. Okay, we got the last one, Abigail Elizabeth. Present. El, ah, okay. Ya le iba a decir, está dormida. No funcionó a dormir, iba a decir. No, pues sí, ahí para, para poderla despertar, decía ella. Ok, good. How do we go, people? ¿Cómo vamos? Do you have the examples? All right, cool. Some of you got them. Listo, teacher. Ok, perfect, perfect. Quiero ver, vamos a intentar. Ajá, Marvin, go. My sister recognized her house. Ah, ok. Recognizes es... her house. Y la segunda sería The house is recognized my sister. By my sister. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, good. All right. I mean, that's acceptable. Thank you, Marvin. Okay. Somebody else? Aquí más? Okay. Yeah, teacher. Ah, da, 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 okay. Ruth, then Carla, and then Maria Elena, okay? Thank you, Carla. Uh, he makes pupusas. He makes pupusas. Okay. Pupusas made by her. Repeat again. Pupusas made. Y el verbo to be? Her. Le falta el verbo to be. Ah. Pupusas are made. Pupusas are made by her. Okay, very good. Pupusas are made by her. Good. Thank you, Ruth. Now, next. Okay. Yeah, teacher. Yes, yes. Okay. And the active voice, the boss made the meeting. And okay. the passive voice, the meeting is made by the boss. Okay, very good. Thank you, Carla. Maria Elena. Uh, we eat a pizza. Uh -huh. The pizza is eaten by us. Is eaten by us. Eaten okay. by us. Okay, very good. Thank you, Marilena. Good, good. Somebody else? Alguien más? All right, Fabricio. The, okay, Cristina. The same. Uh -huh, Fabricio. The assemblers make the electronics board. Uh -huh. The electronic board are made uh, by the assembler. Is it singular or plural? Electronic boards? Are, are made. Ah, okay, okay. Very good. Thank you, thank you. Cristina? Okay. Uh, the Pepsi brand is recognized. Recognized. As uh, you uh, possible, the Pepsi brand is recognized. Uh, repeat the first one, please. Repeat the active voice. The Pepsi brand is recognized. Recognized. Pero es que esa, esa, esa ya está en passive voice, Cristina. Porque la pone porque, porque pone porque pone is y luego recognize y esa esa es la clave para formar una passive voice. ¿Y cómo sería activa entonces? ¿Cuál es el el object que tiene al final? La marca Pepsi es reconocida. 
Ah, pero para hacer una active voice necesita un, un objeto. Por ejemplo, usted, por ejemplo, usted puede poner I recognize Pepsi. I recognize Pepsi. ¿Me la puede decir sí, porfa? Ar, lo, lo primero no lo entendí. Give me one second. I'm gonna put it in here. Check this out. You can put it like this. I recognize Pepsi. In the passive voice will be Pepsi is recognized by me. All right. And you got the passive voice in that case. Ahí lo tiene en la pantalla. Ese es Active Voice. Yeah. I recognize Pepsi. And then Pepsi is recognized by me. That's the passive. Exactly. Vaya, teacher, gracias. Ok. Good. All right, perfect. Somebody else? Alguien más que haya terminado? Please, turn on your microphone and, and let uh, me know. How? Yeah. Ajá, Juan. How when a right coffee? Uh, repeat again, Juan. On pan a right coffee or Quiero ver. ¿Me la está haciendo con los verbos que, que les di? Sí, con este, como usted que primero hay que poner el verbo. Ajá. ¿Qué, me, to... ¿qué me quiere hot poner dog, ahí? Hot dog, pan, con coffee, con café. Vaya, va, va. Lo vamos a poner de esta manera, mire. La vamos a poner de esta manera. Check this out. Usted puede decir, I eat a hot dog. Ajá. Ok, ese es un active voice. Now, a passive voice. A hot dog is eaten by me. I yes. I yes, I yes. Ah, ok, you got it that way. Ok, good one. All right. Nice. Somebody else? Roberto, give me yours. Ok. Carlos, eat pizza. Uh -huh. The pizza is, uh, what do you say? A eating? Eaten. Eaten by Carlos. Ah, ok. Good, good. Thank you. Judy? Ruth make the dress. The dress is made by Ruth. Ah, okay, very good. Thank you, Judith. Francisco, do you have yours? Uh, yes, teacher. Uh, solo no le encuentro la, la forma correcta de decirlo. Pero en voz Activa. Mm -hmm. Eduardo eats apples every day. Eat apples every day. Ajá. Correcto. En voz pasiva. Ahí estoy dudando Vaya. un poco. Como ahí habla. sería, ahí no, sería, no. ahí sería. The apples. Ajá. Are, porque es plural, are. Eaten. Okay. I, y luego pone el nombre de la persona que mencionó al principio de la voz activa. Eso de conjugar eh, el plural se me estaba siguiendo por alto. No, no lo podía. Ajá. Okay. All right. Recuerden, cuando es más de uno es are, cuando es solo uno es is. Ok. 
Okay. All right. Thank you. All right. Perfect. Marvin. Fui el primero, teacher. Ah, you were the first one, right? Yeah, man. Yes. Jesus. Okay, man. Silvia. <laughs> okay, teacher. Mire, en active voice, uh -huh. eh, puse Egma y eh, ¿cómo se pronuncia saludable? Egma come saludable. Healthy. ¿Cómo? Healthy. You can say healthy food. Comida saludable. Healthy food. No. Uh -huh. Okay. Good. Si se pone, entonces, y ya en pausivo voice, eh, puse hating food, hating eggma. Is eaten, is eaten right by Emma. Mm. No olvidemos que siempre vamos a poner is o are. Okay. Exactly, okay. exactly. Ok. There you go. Thank I mean, you. Problems. All right. Carla Ivania. Hi, teacher. Um, Hello. Active voice. Uh, uh -huh. Andre takes his homework. Mm -hmm. And passive voice. Mm -hmm. That homework is may be Andre. Bye. Bye. Okay. Bye, Andre. Very good. Thank you, Carla. Marilyn. Marilyn, do you have your example? Okay. I think Marilyn is not there. Monica. Monica, where is everybody? ¿Dónde están todos? William. Hi. Okay, este, William. Yo lo dejé, William May Taz. Y Taz is made by William. Ah, okay. All right. Thank you, William. Elizabeth. ¿Y si se durmió Elizabeth? Hello. Ah, perdimos a Elizabeth. All right, Patricia. Gracias, teacher. Um, Juan makes the change of spark plug to the car. Uh -huh. Y ese sería el activo. El pasivo de spark plug is change to Juan's car. Ah, okay, very good. Thank okay. you, Patricia. Thank you. All right. Edson, you got your example? Edson. Hey man, where is everybody? Okay. Hi, hi, hello. Hello, Marilyn. I thought I'm you were sorry. I, I, yeah, I, but... I, I thought you were sleeping, Marilyn. <laughs> no. Estaba a intentar estarle poniendo eso y se me quedó trabado el teléfono y no podía estar contestando. Ya ah, no que yo pensé que decía, estaba intentando dormir y no me dejó. <laughs> no, 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 no. Estoy <laughs> cierta. Ah, okay, good. Good. Do you have your example? Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, good. I eat cereal with fruit and a cereal is eaten by me. Ah, okay, good. Thank you. Thank you, Marilyn. All okay. right. Okay. All right, because of the rest that didn't answer, let's move on into, into the next thing, people. I'm going to stop sharing this thing and I'm moving into the manual. Let's go to the manual. Jesus, this is just conversations and everything. 
Ah, but that's cool. We're going to read this thing. Look at this. We got a short conversation in here. Put in passive voice in context. All right. And it says, probably in here, we're going to wake up. <laughs> because I see some faces that are sleeping. This is a short conversation between Daniela and Jessica. Okay. Acá en la conversación, cuando nos vayamos a practicar, por favor, le pueden cambiar sus nombres. No hay ningún problema, right? Si María trabaja con Marvin, all right, you can say, I mean, uh, Marvin can be Daniel, María can be Jessica, right? And they, you can exchange your names like that. Okay, look at this. It says Daniel. So, Jessica, what does your company do? What does your company do? It says Jessica. At Rex, we produce clothes for kids. At Rex, we produce clothes for kids. Daniel says, I see. I see. And uh, what is Rex known for? What is Rex known for? It says, Jessica, Rex is known for the modern designs. Rex is known for the modern designs and the quality of the clothes we make. And the quality of the clothes we make. Daniel says, great, great. And uh, are you happy to work for Rex? Are you happy to work for Rex? Jessica says, absolutely. Absolutely. Rex is recognized. Rex is recognized as a very prestigious company. As a very prestigious company. Their personnel is important for them. Their personnel is important for them. It says, Daniel, congratulations, Jessica. Congratulations, Jessica. You're right. You're right. Rex is rated. Rex is rated as one of the 10 most prestigious companies, as one of the 10 most prestigious companies in El Salvador, in El Salvador. All right, people, from here, did you have any question with this vocabulary in this conversation? Tenemos alguna duda en cuanto a uh, vocabulario en esta conversación? Eh, piche, de ir, o donde dice de ir, de ir, lo pronuncia. Yeah, de ir. De ir personal. Yeah, de ir. De ir. De ir. De ir. De ir. Ok. De ir. Ok. Ok, good. ¿Something else? Piche, eh, donde dice el, el último párrafo de Daniel. And mm -hmm. Moss. All right, as one of the 10 most prestigious. Prestigious. Yeah, prestigious, prestigious, right? Prestigious. Good, something else? Nope, okay, good. Listen, what are we gonna do? <laughs> Hasta las, hasta las 10.50, les iba a decir, hasta las 9.50. Vamos a leer esa conversación, a practicar. Y luego les voy a dar dos minutos adicionales. Quiere decir 9.52 para que me hagan esto. Look, acá estas oraciones son con relación a la conversación. ¿Qué me van a escribir acá? Simplemente true. Si es verdadero, right? False, si es falso. Esas oraciones con relación a la conversación. Okay? That's what we're going to be doing. Good. 
you don't have any question, I'm gonna stop sharing this thing. Voy a dejar de compartir. And I'm gonna create the groups. Solo para confirmar. Podrían, por favor, encenderme la cámara los que no están uh, uh, ocupados. Los que me van a participar en la conversación, Teacher puede, please. Teacher puede poner la conversación. Quiero sacarle un stream. Ah, ah, la, la conversación. Okay. Sí, por favor. Give me one second. Give me one second. This is the one. Ya estuvo. Gracias. Oh, okay, cool. Cool. So, Norma, Carla, uh, Elizabeth, Edson, ¿están ahí? Sí, teacher, lo que pasa es que cuando pongo la cámara, sí, teacher. pongo la, la pantalla porque estoy con los datos. Ah, es que okay. por eso no, nada más estoy corroborando porque eh, es que... Eh, teacher, yo, yo sí estoy en el trabajo, teacher, y por eso no he abierto la, la cámara. Ah, ok, ok. Entonces no participaría Teacher. en la conversación. Ah, Elizabeth. Teacher. Ah, Elizabeth se despertó. Ah, hello, Elizabeth. <ríe> no, no es eso. Lo que pasa es que a veces mi internet falla bastante. Yes, Entonces hasta en mi teléfono desconecto también los datos para que no interfiera. Ah, ok, ok. Excusa válida. Ok, good. <ríe> Teacher. Oh. Yeah, eh, me, confirma, me confirma si me puede ver, porque ya activé la cámara, pero no sé si es problema de mi inter. No, yo creo que es problema. No sé, de... mira. Yo creo que, ¿no no tiene así la cámara tapadita? Mira. No, 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 ah, incluso eh, da la lucita, ya le voy a mandar una foto al grupo, porque sí, ah, ya yeah. está activada, pero no sé qué, qué raro, pasa. Qué raro que no, no, no aparezca. Uh -huh. Ok, bueno. Pero nada más era para confirmar, ¿ok? Entonces solo Jocelyn eh, y Edson no participarían, ¿ok? Good. Uh, el resto sí, ok. Give me one second. I'm going to sign automatically Diga. these things. Diga, teacher. ¿Ah? No hablo. No, mister. Give me one second, Jocelyn, 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 ah, it's in here. Permit me. Mm. Okay, cool. Let's go into that, people. We're just going to do that thing, okay? Let's accept that. Let's accept to uh, go into the breakout rooms and that's gonna be everything we're gonna be doing tonight. Let's go. Okay, the mole setup, please. Hello. Oh, I see. Perdón, Tiche, que lo llamé porque pensé que yo sola estaba. Ah. Pero no, ya apareció ahí, ahí. Yes, aquí está María Elena. Bye, gracias. Ok, good. Gracias. Empecemos. Yo voy a ser Daniel. Bye. De Daniel, bye. I see. And what is rep come for? Rep is come for. Known for? Known for. Known for. Known for. Known for. Known for. Yeah, that's the one. 
Este, a ver. What does your What does your company do? At uh, Rex, why produce gloves for kids? I see and what and what is a rest for 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 Rex is now for the mother this hey, what happened what happened to you what is your classmate no tengo compañero what Ok, la voy a mover de acá, permítanme. ¿Juraba que tenía compañero? No. This is... Give me one second. I'm going to send you to one group that contains only two people. Jesus. Number five. Okay, go into number five. La segunda. La segunda part. False. Mm -hmm. Okay. Y la tercera. Rated one. Uh, ten, 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 ten most previous company of server, not 12. Ok. Todas son true. Hey, ahí está el teacher, ve. Oh. <laughs> What happened? Nada, ya terminamos. Todas son true, dice. <laughs> <laughs> La última es false. Ajá. Ajá. Ya va a caer el teacher, ya va a caer, ya va a caer. Ah, what happened? Ya va a caer, va a decir. Ajá, ya. Según del no, Titanic, según del Titanic. No yet, no yet. <laughs> Jesus. Give me one second. Uh, I, I will give you just a couple of seconds because I'm, I'm, I'm still checking all the groups, okay? Okay. okay. Nice. Okay. Yes. Bye. You finish checking? Sí. Uh, 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 no, I mean, ya no practice? Huh? No, sí, I mean, ya no, no ah. you can you can <laughs> start doing the sentences, uh, choosing if it is true or false. Yes. No le entendí. Ah, no, que ya podemos pasar a la siguiente actividad de las oraciones más abajito. Ah. Para verificar si es verdadero o falso. Las oraciones que tenemos okay, ahí okay. con relación a la conversación. Ok, gracias. Okay. Now let's produce clothes with modern design for kids. It's true. Eh, María en El Salvador is false mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. porque dice is retail has one of the ten most mm -hmm. most prestigious companies Entonces, is false mm -hmm. así es ok ya teacher ah, ah, ah ya me vio ya, me <ríe> ya lo descubrí. No, yo oí que, que la grabación va, pero no lo yo vi. Iba, yo quería pasar desapercibido. Incógnito. Es, es cierto, ahora, ahora dicen ahí, está siendo grabado, así que nada, no me escapo. <ríe> ya terminamos. Ah, ok, perfecto. Solo reviso a alguien, a un grupito más y nos vamos a la sala principal, ok? Ok. All right. No sé si practicamos.
your DOM people. Se fue. <laughs> Monica, did you finish? Yes. Ah, you finished already? Okay, let's go. Relax, María Elena, ya se va a ir a dormir, no está llorando. Ah, no, no está llorando todavía. <ríe> ya tengo sueño, teacher. Sí, así la veo ya, que ya está más de allá que de acá. Nunca les ha pasado, están trabajando y están tan pero tan rendidos que a veces tienden a dormirse y es su cerebro trabajando y, y empiezan a hablar puras incoherencias <ríe> y ya en un momento en el que dicen, ah, ¿qué estoy diciendo? What am I saying? <ríe> no sé, pero a mí ya me ha pasado. <ríe> oh my God, y que no recuerdo lo que he dicho, pero solo sé que estoy soñando, que de repente I'm back again. Ah, I mean, that's crazy. That's the beautiful insomnia. Okay, good. We're gonna check what you got before we go, okay? Okay, ya veo unas caritas ahí que ya. You're in the last stage. All right. Vamos a poner esas caritas tristes primero a practicar. This, is, this conversation is pretty short, so we're gonna do it like super fast, okay? Maria Elena, who were you working with? Gonna be the pleasure yes. to the first one. Yes, yes. You were working with Cristina, right? Yes. Okay, could you practice the present the, the, the conversation, please? Okay, yes. All right, let's go. So, Cristina, what does your company do? Ah, uh, correct. We produce, we produce, not the uh, I see. And what is red now for? Red is now for the modern design. And the quality of the clothes we make. Great. And are you happy to work for Reds? Absolutely. Absolutely. Red is recognized. Uh, it's a very prestigious company. They, they, your personal is important for them. For them. Mm -hmm. Congratulations, Christina. You're right. Rest, Rex is rated as one of the 10 most prestigious companies in the Salvador. Okay, thank you, Maria Elena, and thank you, Cristina. You did it excellent. Now, let's go walk into the next one. Marilyn, who were you working with? Cuando me iba a unir a la sesión, me sacó Zoom y no podía entrar. Hasta que ya estaban de regreso, me volví a ingresar a Zoom. Ah, so you didn't participate. Okay. No. All right. Sorry. You will be the last one with me if you got time. All right. William okay. and Francisco. Ustedes dos estaban, ¿cierto? Yes. Okay, cool. Let's practice. Yes. William. Uh, so, Francisco, what do you for company do? Uh, we produce for William? Uh, I see uh, what is Fred's uh, known for. Known for. Known for. Mm -hmm. Fred is known for the model design and the quality of the clothes we make. Grip. Grip. Right. Uh -huh. uh, Right. And are you happy to work for Rex? 
absolutely recognized as a very prestigious company. The personal is super for them. Congratulations, uh, Francisco. Your uh -huh. rise, Rex, is a rise as right. one, right? one of the ten most prestigious companies in El Salvador. Okay, very good. There you go. Thank you uh, to you people, Francisco and William. Now, next, Marvin. Who are you working with? Okay, uh, con Monica. Okay, let's go. Okay, so Monica, what does your company do? Atrex, we produce clothes for kids. I see, and what is Rex now for? Rex is, is now for the modern designs and the quality for the clothes we make. Great, and are you happy to work for Rex? Absolutely. Rex is recognized as a very prestigious company. Their personnel is important for them. Congratulations, Monica. You are right. Rex are as one of the most prestigious companies in El Salvador. Ah, okay. Thank you, Marvin and Monica. Perfect. Judith. You you were with three other uh, with with two other people, right? Usted estaba con dos personas más. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Como Marilyn no tiene compañero, please let's practice with Marilyn, okay? All right, Marilyn. Okay. Ya le encontré compañera. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> okay, can I start? You you can you can start. Ah, okay. So Jessica, what does your company do? At Rex. We produce clothes for kids. I see. And what is Rex now for? Rex is now for the mother dancing and the quality of the clothes we make. Great. And are you happy to work for Rex? Absolutely. Rex is recognized. Recognized. Recognize as a very prestigious, prestigious company. Their personnel is important for them. Congratulations, Jessica. You're right. Rex is rated as one of the 10 most prestigious company in El Salvador. Perfect. Thank you, Marilyn and Judith. There you go, Carla. Mendoza. Jessica, uh, Judith, y Silvia con la dos. Ah, yeah, okay. In this case, you're going to work with Silvia only, okay? Let's go. Okay. Silvia. So, Jessica, what does your company do? At Rex, we produce clothes for kids. I see. And uh, what is Rex now for? Rex is known for the modern designs and the quality of the colors we make. Great. And are you happy to work for Rex? Absolutely. Rex is recognized as a very prestigious company. Their personal is important for them. Congratulations, Jessica. You are right, Rex. It's right as one of the Ten most prestigious companies in El Salvador. Ah, okay, very good. Thank you, Silvia and Carla. You did it excellent. Now we're gonna do the last one of the last pair of things. Uh, Ivania, who were you working with? Yes, it's Ruth. Ah, with Ruth. Okay, let's go. Ruth. Hello. ¿Qué soy yo? Sí, está bien. Okay, so Ruth, what does your company do? At Rex, at Rex we produce, produce clothes for kids. I see. And what is Rex known for? Rex is known for the modern designs 
and the quality of the clothes we make. Red. And are, are you happy to work for red? Absolutely. Red is recognized as a very distinctive company. Their personal is important for them. Congrat congratulations, Ruth. You are right, Red is, is rated as one of the 10 most prestigious company in El Salvador. Okay, very good. Thank you to you both girls, Carla and Ruth. You did it excellent. Now, Elizabeth, are you there? Sí. Okay, who were you working with? <laughs> Creo que se llama Juan. <laughs> ah, with Juan. Okay, let's go. Yes, yes. <laughs> Dele. Okay. So, Juan, what does your company do? I guess we produce chocolate for kids. Clothes for kids, okay. I see. And what is Rex known for? Rex is known for their mother dancing and I wearing in clothes with me. Great. And are you happy to work for Rex? Actually, Rex Absolutely. is Absolutely. Re actually recognize a very prestigious company. They person imports for them. Important for them. Important for them. Okay. Congratulations, Juan. You're right. Rex is rated has one of the them most prestigious companies in El Salvador. All right, ten most yes. prestigious companies in El Salvador. Okay, very yes. good, very good. Thank you, Juan and, and Elizabeth. Good, uh -huh. Norma. Norma, did you participate already? Uh, Patricia. Ah, with Patricia, right? You were Patricia. Okay, cool. Let's go. Okay. So, Patricia, what does your company do? At Rex, why produce clothes for kids? I see. And what what is Rex no nor for? Rex is no for the mother design and the quality of the clothes we make. Get out and are you happy to work for Rex? Absolutely. Rex is re recognized as a very prestigious company. Their personal is important for them. Congratulations, Jessica. You are right. Rex in red as one of the 10 months. Prestigious company in El Salvador. All right, the 10 most prestigious companies in El Salvador. All right, thank you, Norma and Patricia. You did it excellent. All right, people, listen up. The rest of these things, we're going to do it on Monday because on Monday, we're going to have a general practice from a vocabulary. We're going to include some pages that we haven't finished and the rest of this work, okay? Uh, básicamente, eh, la otra página de ejercicios la vamos a completar el lunes. Ya que el lunes vamos a tener un vocabulary review de lo que hemos estado viendo y vamos a complementar algunas páginas que no hemos terminado del manual. Ok, so we're going to stay in here because of the time and because of, uh, you know, like, uh, hey, I see your faces like wanting to go to sleep and everything. Ok, so listen. Para los que no me han comenzado con la plataforma, please, háganlo este fin de semana. Ok, que les quede un pequeño chance ahí. Eh, complementenme las tareas de la 1 hasta la 3, ok, recordemos que ya el lunes sería la cuarta y el martes pues ya terminaríamos nuestra primera semana, no sé ustedes pero yo siento que el tiempo va flying super fast, Jesus, ok, I'm gonna pass the attendance list and then we can go, give me one second. 
Okay, I'm gonna start with Edson Mariano. Presente. Okay, cool. Gabriel Esaú. All right, he didn't show up. Jocelyn Jahaira. Tampoco. Judith Maribel. Okay, cool. You're there. Carla Ivania. Present teacher. Okay. Carla. Okay. Sorry, Carla, pero como no tengo los otros dos anteriores, after you did, you're going to have the 10 minutes feedback today, okay? Okay. Okay, Perfect. Cool. Nice. Carla Lorena. Present teacher. All right. Catherine Guadalupe. All right, she's not here. Maria Elena. Present teacher. Okay, cool. Marilyn Alejandra. Present. Okay, perfect. Mario Ernesto. I think he didn't get connected. Marvin Alexander. Good night, teacher. All right, good night, mister. Monica Maricela. Present. Ok, Nelson Fabricio. Present. Ok, perfect. Norma Beatriz. Present. Ok, Patricia Guadalupe. Present. Very good. Roberto Emilio. Present, present, present. All right, good, good. Uh, Ruth Guadalupe. Present teacher. Okay, Santos Cristina. Present teacher. All right, William Alexander. Present. Okay, Jocelyn Stephanie. Harry, right, la manito. Okay, good. Uh, let me see, Juan Ricardo. Present teacher. Okay, it is Cecilia. She didn't show up. Uh, Ana Silvia. Present teacher. Okay, perfect. Francisco Ernesto. Present teacher. All right, Abigail Elizabeth. Present teacher. Ah, okay, perfect. All right, people. Eh, espero que tengan un maravilloso fin de semana. Espero puedan descansar los que no van a trabajar y los que trabajan, pues, sorry, people. Vamos mañana con todo. And see you on Monday, okay? Nos vemos el lunes, ya con pilas puestas again, right? Monday. Have a wonderful weekend. Okay. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night. See you Monday. See you Monday. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Dios los bendiga a todos y a todas. Noches. Thank you. Bye-bye. No quiero que nos veas. Ya, hoy sí. Yes. <laughs> All right, everybody. Bye. Everybody except Carla. All right, Carla. Okay, teacher. All right. Esos 10 minutos, Carla, pues básicamente son para aclarar cualquier duda que usted pueda tener con relación a esta clase, las clases anteriores, o algo siempre relacionado con la plataforma. So, I'm all ears if you have questions. Okay. Es eh, justo porque eh, con este tema, quizás uh -huh. más que todo, no con la estructura de la oración, digámoslo así, sino que con el verbo. Ah. El verbo, o sea, cuándo agregarle, vaya, porque hay unos verbos que obviamente son irregulares, uh -huh. entonces veo que se le agrega la N, pero no en todos los casos. Entonces, no sé cómo uh -huh. convertirlo en... Pasado participio, no sé cómo es que se ah, llama. Pas sí, pasados participios. Ah, mire, Ajá. en este caso, creo que, mmm, fíjese que creo que ando una lista. La voy a buscar, nomás termine la clase y la voy okay. a enviar al grupo de WhatsApp. Esa lista ah, okay. es más que todo, contiene la mayoría, por así decirlo, de verbos irregulares. Esos Ajá. verbos son los que por lo general cambian en su forma, en pasado participio uh -huh. con relación al, al presente y uh -huh. ya pues verbo que no encuentre ahí, significa que es un verbo regular, y qué sucede con los verbos regulares, por lo general 
agregamos ed o okay. ied en algunas situaciones. Por ejemplo, all right, plan, el verbo plan. Este es un verbo regular, mire, porque uh -huh. el pasado participio de este verbo es plan. Plan. All right. Ajá. Por uh -huh. ejemplo, el verbo play. Play. Played. You see? El verbo study. Vaya. Este verbo uh -huh. termina en Y. Ok, como el anterior. Pero antes de la Y va una consonante. Entonces uh -huh. acá no le voy a agregar ED. Como anteriormente hice con play. Ok. ¿Qué hacemos en este caso? IED. Exactly. Le ponemos IED. I mean, mm. like IED. Okay. Pero todos ellos son regulares. Uh -huh. Ok. Todos son verbos regulares. Si ve, su raíz no cambia. Solo le agregamos uh -huh. ED o IED, pero la raíz no cambia. Ok. ¿Qué sucede uh -huh. con los verbos irregulares? Ahí con los verbos irregulares, sí, cambia. Ok, sí, cambia okay. por completo. Por ejemplo, si yo tengo what, el que estábamos practicando, it, Ajá, eh. right, en pasado participio es eaten. Eh, eaten, uh -huh. ajá. Por ejemplo, si tenemos drink, Dru drunk. Drunk. Exactly, uh -huh. right? Si tenemos, por ejemplo, what, something else? Live. Mm, okay. Left. You see? Como izquierda. Hola. Como izquierda. <laughs> Algo así, prácticamente <laughs> como izquierda. No, but that's sí. true. Es cierto. Uh -huh. Es cierto, sí. prácticamente. Yeah. Ok. Um, Entonces, esta es la forma en que nosotros tenemos que aprendernos. Mire, eh, uh -huh. si sí, nomás terminemos acá. Voy a enviar esa lista para que usted los pueda revisar. Acá, pues básicamente yo no le puedo dar a des, a, así como decirle, mire, esta es, la estrategia, esta es la estrategia para conocer cuál es cuál. Porque acá, lastimosamente, estos verbos mm. los vamos a ir conociendo cuando poco a poco nos lo vayamos memorizando. Okay. Así, Pero... por así decirlo. Es básicamente así de simple, nos, así de simple. Irnos, <risa> irlos practicando e irlos memorizando. Sí, porque es que, es que fíjese que si yo le digo, mire, esta estrategia puede funcionar y esta lo otro, no, sería mentirle, uh -huh. sería mentirle el saber reconocer cuando un verbo es irregular y cuando es regular. All right? Entonces, eh, mejor le voy a enviar, voy a enviar así al grupo la lista de verbos que le menciono. Y ahí pues se nos hace más fácil porque están las tres formas del verbo presente, pasado y pasado participio, que es la que ocupamos. Uh -huh. Y si usted ve que un verbo no está en esa lista, es porque es un verbo regular. Por ende, es se le agrega fácil. ed o ied. Uh -huh. Entonces, eh, en el pasado, cuando son regulares, eh, es sencillo. Si yo es, le cambio la y y le pongo ied. Siempre oh, no. y cuando termine en consonante más Y. Ah, ok. En consonante okay. más Y. Ajá. Si es ah, vocal. Ah, sí, porque play. Ajá. No. Sí, si se fija, play es vocal uh -huh. plus Y. Uh -huh. Ahí ya no aplica. Ahí solo le agregamos ED. Uh -huh. Siempre y cuando sea consonante más Y. Ahí sí. Ahí sí eh, se hace la, esa modificación. Se elimina la Y. Y se coloca IED. Y de ahí, por lo general, ya la mayoría es agregándole solamente D o ED. Ok. Yes, Perfect. dependiendo del contexto. All right. Good. Dependiendo del, del verbo también. Ok, mm -hmm. good. Eh, no sé si hay algo más, Carla, en lo que podamos, eh, no sé, aclarar aparte no. de eso. No, por el momento si no estamos ahí. Claro, con todo lo demás. Ah, ok, cool. Con la, la plataforma ya tiene acceso sin ningún problema, ¿cierto? Sí, 
Sí, ya tengo acceso, lo único que no he empezado a hacer las tareas, pero ya el fin de semana las agarro para hacerlas. Oh, ok, no hay problema, no hay problema. Bueno, estoy sincera. No, sí, sí, eso, eso vale, eso vale mucho. Ok, va, perfecto. Entonces voy a enviar esa lista para que la puedan sí. revisar entonces. Uh -huh. Les va a servir de okay. mucho porque son los verbos que más cuestan, por así decirlo, porque cambian, cambian mucho. Ajá, sí. Sí, pensé que había una como regla, digámoslo así, pero no. Eh. No, en sí, realidad no, no, en realidad no. Ahí sí, lastimosamente es aprendérselos. Ok, perfecto. Gracias, entonces. Ok, All right, Carla. Entonces, la dejo descansar y nos vemos el lunes, ¿ok? Gracias, igualmente. Que descanse. Right. Feliz noche. Good night. Bye, bye. Good night.